Yo, LeBron's the biggest fool in the world, man. He's the biggest fool in the world. Man. And look, people can see it in the two ways that I'm about to paint it to y'all. And I'm going to show you why in these two ways he is going to be looking like a fool. Now, all right? Point A, the dude thinks Jordan is better than Kobe. If that's the case, you're trying to be spiting Kobe. But what makes you think you're going to spite the Laker loyalist by leaving Cleveland to go join the Lakers, man? I mean, fuck the Magic Johnson comparison. If you really wanted to spite Kobe, you would have hit him harder where it would hurt him than trying to take his team from him. That's by eliminating his team and like everything, like beyond him, the Lakers in general, you should be trying to eliminate, man. All right. And the only way you would have done that is if you would have joined the Clippers. That's all I'm going to say. Or even better, you would have joined the Chicago Bulls if you really thought Jordan was better. And you want to pay respect to Jordan? Hell yeah, you would have been a bull and take that team. To tell me you don't respect Kobe by going to the Lakers, I don't see that. And if you think so, then you's a damn fool. <laughs> like, if you think you're going to be spiting Kobe because he joined the Lakers, you a damn fool. And it's shown. The first week you show up, people try to paint murals and they've been destroying that shit. You do not test Laker loyalists, bro. Never. Exhibit B. He's the biggest fool in the world because, unlike some of these dumbasses here, he believes it's Kobe Bryant, not Michael Jordan, that's the best player in the world, and that's who he's trying to chase. And the fact that he thinks, I mean, like, the fact that he hasn't mentioned that, you know, for him to think that people won't believe that, because they, they, he might be afraid, oh, they're going to think I'm stupid or crazy or whatever. He's trying to save face by saying that, but that's the truth. And I believe this is what really how LeBron feels inside. He believes that Kobe Bryant is the best player in the NBA and not Michael Jordan. And that's who he's trying to chase. Not Jordan. He just put up the Jordan thing for publicity. But really in actuality, in his heart, and I believe he's respectful for this. I give him credit that he believes Kobe Bryant's the best player in NBA history. Even better than Magic Johnson and all them crew. I mean, you could people could talk about the Magic Johnson comparison. But why would he wear... 23 when he could have worn 32 or another better point if he didn't respect kobe and y'all gotta understand lebron james is humble as fuck don't you think and let's put this picture you know kobe's arrogant he's prideful he believes in himself if he was super confident there's no way he would have taken 22 over 23 he would have thought 22 is less than 23 he chose 24 because he wants to be better than jordan he said that when he changed from 8 to 24 but LeBron James, if he was really spiteful and was the thing that he's better than Kobe, he would have just same thing and chose 25. You know what I mean? Why did he chose 23? Just to be like Jordan? Or even better, he could have chose 24 if he really wanted to be say that he's just as good as Kobe or better. You know what I mean? To prove a point. He don't give a fuck. He chose the number six. But at the end of the day, he's keeping it under 24. Why? Because he knows he's just as good as Michael Jordan. That's what he'll tell you, everyone. And that's why people are debating between those two as a better player. But he won't tell you that he's better than Kobe. He did not even bother to say that he was the best player in the NBA until Kobe retired. Simple as that. He would have never said that if Kobe was playing. Never. That's why he waited until Kobe retired for him to make that phrase. And he said it. And you know what I mean? Like, it's big and everything. But at the end of the day, though, you know you're chasing Kobe. Not Jordan, because you think Kobe's the best player in the league, or best player in NBA history. So the fact that you ain't even willing to admit it and show balls to do that, you was a damn fool. All right? So um, all I could tell you is, bro, you got to grow a pair of balls and realize if you really do respect Kobe and you kind of want to um, pay homage and be, you know, just do the same thing that he did because – how, to Jordan, because like he respected Jordan above all else. But guess what? And you were humble and very respectful, dude. I, I can get that from you. So that's why I see you chose 23. You could have been arrogant like Kobe and chose 25, but you didn't. But I'm going to tell you what, though. Surprising. You should go ahead and change the number to 25.
just do it because at the end of the day you know that's how you really feel like you want to honor kobe ain't nothing that's going to get kobe's respect and more than you know doing what he did get a number higher than 24 and then essentially that'll complete the trio uh mount rushmore if you think about the grades from michael jordan to kobe Bryant to lebron james like you know like the passing of the torch because really that's what's going on in the nba right now and that's the best way to really end this chapter bro i mean change your number to 25 and then look if you still want to stay with the lakers man by all means do it but i think he was just as fine staying with the cleveland cavaliers i know that sounds crazy as fuck but that's another thing you could have paid homage to i'm pretty sure you felt like that was already ruined the day you went to the heat but Ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. I mean, you know, I mean, Kobe almost wanted to leave the Lakers with the Clippers. So don't even feel bad that you couldn't stay committed to one team. Like, you did the best you could, and I get it. The owner was a piece of shit. I mean, he was talking crap about you as soon as they left the first time. So, you know, you coming back and all of a sudden he's all over on your ass? I get it. You know what I mean? Fuck that dude. His son is cool, though. His son is respectful. But the dad, screw him. So, at the end of the day, man, I mean, you did the best you could for the city. I get it. You don't want to deal with that bullshit. So, you know, and unfortunately, he's still there. He owns the team. He ain't dead yet. His son hasn't taken over, so it makes sense. But with all due respect, bro, like, I mean, it's up to you. I mean, if you're happy in Lake playing with Lakers, man, that's cool. That's cool. But, you know what I mean? Think, just just do this though if you know for sure you gave it your all and you don't know if you can play another crazy ass you know game for like playoff contention or whatever play one final year with the Cavaliers at the very least and wear 25 make your statement as you walk out that this is how you really felt and I think you will go out a legend bro simple as that and I think Despite the circus roller coaster story of your NBA career, everyone will love you and respect you the most if you went out like that, my man. And I hope I'm not ruining God's plan for you, but for some reason I see it and I see it just go going down in fashion, bro. And I think people will finally acknowledge you. And I'm talking about even including Laker loyalists, because if you really want to get the respect, don't do what you're doing right now. I mean, that's why they're doing all this spiteful shit that you might feel like, what the hell? Because at the end of the day, they feel like you're disrespecting Kobe, too. But if your true attention is really to respect Kobe, bro, and admire him like you really do, like I know you care about, go ahead and play your final year out. Final chance that you feel like you can 100%, like the way you are right now, dominating. But bring your last-ditch effort, though, on your last year. If you know it's going to be the last year you play in the NBA, take it to Cleveland. Play for the Cavaliers and give it your 100 all because you know you're not going to step on foot on that court again. Go hard and give them a show. Whether they win the whole damn thing or their last seat, you know what I mean? The, like the first overall pick or lot in the lottery or whatever. So um, think of it that way, man. Um, because I've always respected you, bro. Like nothing got me more enticing when I saw those commercials on ESPN or NBA about like they did this commercial with Sprite. Like who's better, Kobe and Jordan? And, and um, no, Kobe and LeBron. They're like arguing like all fan bases from both teams and shit. That was cool. And that was, like, back when Kobe was in his prime. They just came off of their, you know, back-to-back -back championships, man. And we could have had a dynasty, but, oh, well, you know what I mean? It sucks. I still can't get over that loss to the Celtics, bro. That hurts me, man. Oh, my God, that hurts. Especially feeling really lucky and happy when the Giants beat the Patriots in 07. So, like, that really hurt. But um, I don't want to get too sidetracked, man. Like, give it your all. Give it to Cavaliers, man, and you know what I mean? At the end of the day, do it for Cleveland, bro. You know those fans love you. And they may be showing little petty things like when they took, especially the second time, I didn't think that was necessary. You know, they took down the post and all that shit. They didn't really see your vision the way you saw it. Um, because at the end of the day, yeah, you knew you could just let your kids go to school and just stay and play with Cleveland. But you got that idea. You wanted to... Because you... Adore, you admire Kobe so much, you really wanted to wear the same uniform just once in your life as he did. And you did that. You know what I mean? And I think you're doing great, LeBron. I'm going to root for you from now on. Um, but at the same time, don't be afraid to go back home, bro. And close it out the final year. 
playing for the Cavaliers and do, and I mean it, it's important. Do that jersey change. When you go to the Cavaliers, don't worry about how your Lakers tenure ends. Go to the Cavaliers and change your number to 25. And do it, and you give your announcement. You let the world know that I chose 25 because I want people to know that I think, I believe that Kobe Bryant is the best player in NBA history and that I want to show everyone that I also think I'm one up over him too. That's it. And you go out, you give him that classy smile, you're fine, bro. You're fine. So obviously you can get the rough translation from me, man. Enjoy life, have fun, man, and do the best you can. And good luck to both you and AD, who, I'm not going to lie, it's cool to have Anthony Davis, but I really was hoping to see him play for his hometown for the Bulls. But, hey, it's cool, though. Deuces!